Okay, so I'm back with another tech demo. This is not ICBM. Before you see the rail network and be like, hey, this is more ICBM tech demos. This is not. The rail system has now been moved over to a new mod called Assembly Line. For those of you who are not familiar with the history, Assembly Line is an older mod that I developed back in basically 125. It got all the way up to 164, and then I merged it in with a mod called Resin Induction that sequentially died off in early 1710 because of Calclavia. Now the mod itself was originally created by Cal Clavi as well, so I can't really blame him for anything. Um, but he came up with the concept, he created it, created some of the earlier content, which was just a conveyor belt and an insert in a, a manipulator is what he called it. And the manipulator just put items into a chest. I'll end up re-implementing it here later. But that was his version. Uh, he didn't want to work on the mod, he ended up giving it over to somebody called Elusive Hawks, uh, who even though was a mod developer, didn't know how to do anything. Uh, I ended up wrestling the mod away from him because he was basically not doing anything with the mod. Uh, I worked on it, ended up getting Cal Clavi and another developer called uh, Brian Man, I believe is how you pronounce his name, to work on it. Um, this ended up with a whole other story that I will explain at another time, but the mod ended up becoming just mine at the end. Uh, I ended up working on it, developing content, doing a lot with it, ended up doing uh, some pretty cool things. The mod did well, but when it merged with Res Induction, it died off. But ignoring the backstory, the mod is being revived. So for all of you who do remember the mod, it will be revived. It will be revived exactly how it was. I will be adding more content. So unlike ICBM, I won't be redesigning it from the ground up. Um, so a lot of the old content will come back. It'll just be improved. Uh, the original conveyor, classic conveyor belts will be implemented as they were. I will be implementing probably seven different other varieties of belts, um, as well adding some really extensive customization to those belts. But for the content we do have, uh, you've already seen the rail network. The rail network can support any type of cart. Right now we've got missile carts on here. I will be adding a lot of different variety of carts. Um, right now the first priority is to end up making a chest cart, which I'll be doing here probably tomorrow. Um, but we've got right now, one of the first original pieces of content for here is the inserter. Now the inserter is a dumbed down version of the old robotic arm. The old robotic arm was a, pre was a programmable device that programmed in something similar to assembly with a little bit more complex wording. Um, so can't really call it assembly, uh, something similar to a, how a CNC machine would work. You've got a very basic instruction set that you can program and it worked. So in the case of what we're doing right now, you would program an arm to just rotate back and forth to pick items up and drop them. Uh, that was a little difficult for users. We tried to implement uh, pre-programmed disks that you could craft and insert, but most users, it was over their head. It's the same problem with computer craft and open computers, which this will support here down the road, but that'll be down the road. Uh, but the basic functionality of this, uh, so this works is that you point the device into the direction you want to work on it with. There are little arrows. Um, the arrows are basically the same as here, except it's a little dumbed down. I'm going to be working on some better textures for it. Right now these are temporary stand-in textures, but they point in the direction in which you're going to be crafting. I can place one real quick and I can show you. It does rotate, and it'll try to rotate in the direction by which it's pointing. It'll start off in the opposite direction. This is the direction it will be taking items in. And when it takes an item, it'll put it into the direction it's pointing in. The pointing is the output direction. In this exact case, it's outputting cobblestone, it's picking cobblestone in here. It'll continuously do this. It rotates at one degree a tick, so that's 20 degrees a second. This is a bit slow, but it's mainly for testing. Future versions will have upgrades to increase the speed and increase its stack size capacity. Right now, it can pick up one item at a time. Uh, I will also be working on advanced versions of this, so you can implement uh, moving items diagonally, uh, across, up and down, whatever. There will be different versions for that down the road. Uh, and then the, pre the programmable version, which is the robotic arm, the arm bot, will be implemented back and it will have the support that the old version have, computer craft and computer support. It will be able to pick up entities. These will actually end up being able to pick entities up as well including have filtering support. So there'll be really dumbed down versions of these that you can just use that all you have to do is place it and then apply a filter to it. The filter will be a little simple item that you'll just go, hey, I want to pick up a zombie and you'll be able to move zombies around. Uh, outside that, these will come with integration for what is called an iAuto Crafter. Uh, the crafting tables will implement them and you'll be able to craft the missiles on these. I will be most likely implementing a tier two version of this for auto crafting. I will leave the tier two, one version alone. Uh, but that'll, I'll mess with that here later, and you guys don't really need to know about that. That'll be for a spotlight tomorrow here. But that's it, and I'll be, I'll get you guys a video here later of more content. Uh, streams will be up more often here, and see you guys later.